on this episode of Better Than Common Garage, I get a lathe. Oh, hello, and welcome to Better Than Common Garage. I'm your host, I think, for the most part. No, that was stupid. I think it'll pull it out, yeah. What's that leaking? Uh, it just ends in oil. No big deal. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. You got a strap? Shouldn't have asked. Something about this tells me it's not exactly OSHA approved. OSHA approved? Yeah, ocean. That's what I said. <laughs> what? What? Okay. <laughs> I love it. Let's do it. No, I mean, it should. Dude, I've, I had the tractor hooked to a tree one time, but that, it was pulling the front end of the tractor up. That little blue tractor. Good grief. Yeah, I go, wah, boom. <laughs> I was like, it's going to break. It never broke. It never broke. That must have been a heck of a tree. It was probably the size of my wrist. And it was pulling the front end of the tractor up. Wouldn't even touch it. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Well, here, I got just the thing. I'll lay on top of it. Right. It's like a 30 off 6 box You know what I mean? Andy. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Okay. See if it'll move. Hey, look at that. There it goes. That's about it. You can go another couple inches if you want. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to get out. See if you can push it that end around so we can get onto it square with the bobcat thing. Or do you want to just try to pull it out long way through the door? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it'll take it. We've done it to Warner Swayze's at work before. You're not really supposed to, but there's no real good way to lift them up. Or do you want to pull it out from this end? Did you 
don't want to miss this. And this, folks, is a turret lathe. It's a Warner Swayze, number four. Fairly old unit. I haven't a clue when it was manufactured. I'm going to guess early 50s, late 50s, in that range if I had to guess. This is what's known as a turret lathe because it has a turret on the tailstock. Uh, and... These ones are kind of unique because they have a tool post on this side and then you can mount a tool post on that side. As you see, this has custom made tools for doing parts that they made years ago here at the shop. I'm going to tear most of that off. I'll keep the tool post. But this thing's been sitting. We're trying to figure out when the last time we actually ran it. And I'm guessing it was in the 90s. And you can see by the amount of fiberglass dust and stuff on it, it's the need of a uh, bath. But it was either I take it to my shop and use it, or they sell it. And I thought, you know what, it's not exactly what I want for at my shop. Ideally, I'd like to have like a little engine lathe, but you know, for free, I can't turn down a nice machine. I'll get this thing working and. Make some parts with it, hopefully. But it's all here. And it all worked. A long time ago it worked, but it all worked. So we shall see. My goodness. 
I don't know what in the heck that is. Custom tooling, it looks like. Alright, we got the sheet under it. Ready to commence sliding. Some Fibo of the glass. You done playing around with your kitty? Yeah. Oh, got a leak? Apparently I spilled something. Blood mark. Oh. <laughs> it looks, it's like berries or something. I don't know. Rasp berries. Rasp? Berries. <laughs> Wee's berries. <laughs> What are you looking? Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't seen them over here. Coffee. I bet you they're where the jack was. Yeah, they're laying in there on the cart. I'm skited. Can't wait. I have to clean this old pig off. Get everything loosened up. Oh my goodness. It's so, so rusty. In my free time, it'd be fun. So we got it turned around here on the pad facing the right direction the trucks right there with the trailer and we put uh, some channel some fiberglass channel underneath it that should help us skis so it'll slide you decide that actually I think is gonna work really well he's got Paco fired up I don't know what he's doing with the tractor Apparently nothing. That's his tractor. Paco.
Gotta love an old farm all. Smooth as silk. Oh look, Bronco 2's. You might notice there's a lot less Bronco 2's here than what you used to be. They've been disappearing. Why does it keep dying like that? Huh. It's a cute little tractor. <clears throat> Alright. Got the uh, chain on. Truck, trailer, winch, what could possibly go wrong? I don't know what he's talking about. It's perfectly fine. You get a tape in there. Just... If a cop comes, I'm just going to be like, Here Yeah, go, that's Rod. that's all you got to do. Nothing to see here, stupid. Shh. Shh. All right. So, I see all these videos on the internet of guys with their excess strap and how they all bunch them up and tie them in the fancy little doodads and whatnot. I do absolutely nothing with mine. Well, right. That's because you're a professional trucker. Yep. Take it from a guy that doesn't do this for a living. The quickest and easiest way to do this, in my professional opinion, tie it in half. So maybe go half again. Wrap it around your strap. Then tie it into a knot. In 30 seconds, you're done. Nigel approved. Nigel approved. Nigel doesn't approve! <laughs> what? Alright, 
the executive decision was made to not put it in my shed. I'm going to put it in my little shop here. This is the original Better Than Common Garage. This was an originally a uh, butcher shop. You can see sort of like the old track or the where they had the track and went in back here and they had a walk-in cooler. But now I have it full of car parts. And uh, I think putting that lathe in this shed would be uh, more gooder. Uh, I don't think it'll cause less headache trying to move around in my shop over there. Put it over here, get it running. I think that'll work. So let's get after it. This should be fun. Right now we got issues because the lathe is sitting on the trailer the wrong direction to go in here. So we got to try to spin it around to get it to slide up again that wall. But there's a lot of junk in here that needs moved, honestly. But it should be fun. I do believe this is going to work perfectly now that I think about it. Got me a little hole cleared out of my junk. Don't mind all the junk. Got lots of junk. But I think the lathe will sit there nicely. Eventually get like a little bridge port. Sit there. Make myself a nice little machine shop here in the old butcher shop. So now comes the fun part. Getting that spun around in the driveway. And facing the right direction so we can push her in. I'm really glad my brother's here and I'm really glad he brought the bobcat because this job would be near impossible with my little baby tractor. She just ain't got quite enough rear end behind her to do this kind of tomfoolery. This should be fun.
there's a boss is here now. What do you think of all this? This is amazing. I think so. A little jelly. A little bit of jelly. I think I'm gonna make myself a little machine shop here in this old shed. Wow, well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think that'll be perfect. Get this little lathe set up in there, and then set up a little bridge port beside it. Gonna need your help figuring out the power going into the shed, though. That's my only concern, but that's easily solved. Well, worst it's case, not easily solved, but it's, it's solvable. solvable. Right. It's not cheap. But you gotta be careful. You can upset that. You want me to pull the truck out of the way? Yes. fix the skids but nice You gonna pick her up and we'll slide this skid under it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll pick it up and move the skid back under. Yep, Hap. She needs some love. Oh yeah. It'll go. It won't take that much to get it running. If you have power, I mean we can have it running today. Yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed? Absolutely. No, now that we're putting it in this shop, I don't really care. We'll just set her in there. But I will probably end up moving it over there to where I can have it tight up against the wall and still get to my fuses and stuff. You know what yeah, I mean? Whatever. Nah. Uh, that's, that's a big job. That's a job. We'll do that when we're wiring it up. Because I've... All of that's from this, these, these swivels that froze up. <laughs> Pop them right apart, see? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we going to call it? Nigel's Machine Shop? Nigel. Nigel's Machine Shop. Yeah. The machinery shop. Don't advertise. Let Mike... Might do that. Do mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to do what I want to do. Play. Just yeah, play. I just want to play. I don't want to have to work. Okay. Now, don't be rummaging through all the stuff I stole fair and square. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There should be a little one. 
It's okay. It's interesting. I know it's here. We have it. I've seen it. A little plunge cut tool. It's, yeah, it's just like this one, only smaller. Okay. And I don't know what that is. That might. Oh, that bet. That's what went inside there. And uh, maybe, maybe not. Well, it sure looks like it might have fit in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know, Mister. I don't know either. I know nothing. Anywho. I know this is going to be a lot of work getting this thing going. Nick's not bad. You'll have grown in no time. A lot of work getting her cleaned up. I'll put it that way. That, the cleaning it up is going to be the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you think you use kerosene at first? Yeah, any of that. I thought about pressure washing it, honestly. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not now that it's in the garage. I thought about doing it while I was on the trailer. Yeah, I would just, I would just wash it down. You back it off first. Yeah, yeah, back, back it, it and just get a brush and brush. Mm -hmm. you know, yep. And have your your vacuum there. You'll get rid of a lot of that dirt. Yes, cool. sir. Looks like fun. Nope. Look at that, a piece of solid. Don't be taking that Nautron. I stole that fair and square. All right. As you can see, the lathe is in my shed, my old machine shop. That's what I'm going to call this area. This will be my little machine shop. Uh, it is filthy. And it needs some work. But, you know, uh, for free, I'm not going to complain. This will do everything I want it to do. Almost. Not quite what you would want to like do drive shafts and stuff, but I can always uh, have them done. But, uh, you know, for odds and ends, bushings, pins, that kind of stuff, this thing's going to be perfect. I have it scooched away from the wall right now. That way we can get in there and get it electrified and whatnot. Uh, but once we get that, get her pushed back. But first things first is I'm going to clean this up. Hose it down, you know, wash it down, make it not so grimy, and maybe I even suck up some of the rat poop and stuff in there. Ew. But, oh, I'm excited. This is going to be awesome. But right now, I got just a ton of things I got to try to work around and deal with. So, it's going to be a project. It'll probably take a little bit to get it all done, but... You know, I'll take you guys along for the ride. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. See ya.